All right, so we're back. And um, today we're going to be taking a deep dive into a story that honestly, I think, caught a lot of people by surprise. Definitely. The divorce of Teddy Mellencamp and Edwin Oroyave. Yeah, I mean, 13 years is a long time. It is. And especially, you know, we see so many of these, you know, reality TV romances mm -hmm. that, you know, they fizzle out. Yeah. Or, or, you know, maybe they were together for the show. Right. Whatever it is. You know, this one seemed like it was really solid. Mm -hmm. And, you know, even for people who maybe aren't familiar with Teddy Mellencamp and her time on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Yeah. I think it's just an interesting story because it really yeah. does remind us that relationships, yeah. even ones that seem, you know, rock solid, mm -hmm. especially when they're lived out. Under a microscope. Yeah. Yeah. Under the public eye can face these really unexpected turns. Absolutely. And, you know, I think it's interesting how Teddy chose to handle the announcement because she went on Instagram and it seems like a very calculated way to control the narrative and put out a statement that really emphasized her children's privacy. Right. And keeping things quiet. Exactly. And, you know, for someone who's been on a reality TV show and whose life has been so public, I think it's telling that she wants to protect her children mm. <laughs> from the, you know, the media frenzy that can sometimes surround these situations. Right. And she actually said, you know, my priority is my children and ensuring that every care is taken with their privacy and well-being throughout this new chapter. Mm -hmm. So you can really tell that that's what she's focused on. Absolutely. And, I, you know, looking back on their relationship, it's interesting because their love story really started back in 2008. Mm hmm and they had this kind of chance encounter in Hollywood. A real meet cute. Yeah, a total meet cute. Yeah. And you know what started as something very casual actually turned into this long term relationship. Yeah. And then they ended up getting married. Right. And what's even more interesting is that Edwin initially didn't even believe in marriage. So the fact that they got married really shows how much their relationship evolved and deepened over time. And how committed they were. Exactly. Yeah. So for it to end now is even more surprising. Yeah, for really? sure. And I think one of the big questions that people have is why? Well, and that's the thing, you know, they haven't publicly disclosed a reason for the split. Right. Which, of course, leads to a lot of speculation. Of course. But I think it's important to remember that they have a right to their privacy. Mm. And, you know, it's not really our place to pry into the details of their personal lives. Right. It's not about gossiping. Exactly. It's more about you know, trying to understand the context of the situation. Right. And, you know, one thing that we can't ignore is that Teddy has been going through a lot in recent years with her health. Oh, absolutely. She's been battling recurrent melanoma for over two years now. Right. And she's been very open about that journey. She has. And, you know, she's mm. talked about the toll that it's taken on her both physically and mentally. And it's important to acknowledge that, you know, serious health issues like that can put an immense strain on any relationship. Mm. It demands a lot of resilience and adaptation from both partners. Right. And, you know, even though they're getting divorced, it seems like there's still a lot of respect and support between them. Mm -hmm. You know, Edwin went with Teddy to the Cure Melanoma Gala earlier this year. Yeah. And he posted that really heartfelt tribute to her on Instagram. He did. He praised her strength and her impact. Mm. And he said, her story has already saved lives and I couldn't be prouder. Yeah. So even though they're separating, there's clearly still a lot of love and admiration there. Right. And I think it's also important to remember that they have four children together. Right. Slate, Cruz, Dove, and Isabella. Yeah. And Isabella is Edwin's daughter from a previous relationship. Mm. But, you know, they're all a family and co-parenting in the public eye like that. Can't be easy. It can't be easy. No. And it just adds another layer of complexity to an already difficult situation. And it seems like they're really committed to putting their children's well-being first, mm -hmm. which is, you know, it's admirable. It is. And, you know, it takes a lot of communication and compromise to make co-parenting work, especially when you're in the spotlight. Right. So, yeah, you know, it's sad to see their marriage end. But mm -hmm. it's also kind of inspiring to see them handle it with so much grace and maturity. Right. And, you know, I, I think it's a good reminder that even when relationships end, it doesn't mean that the love and respect have to disappear. Exactly. So, yeah, it's a complex situation. Definitely. You know, 13 years of marriage ending the undisclosed reasons, the health challenges, mm -hmm. and then their dedication to their children. Yeah. It's a lot to unpack. It is. But I think it's a story that a lot of people can relate to on some level. I think so, too. And, you know, it really makes you think about how we all navigate these major life changes mm -hmm. and how we find the resilience and the strength to move forward, even when things are tough. Yeah. And I think it also speaks to the fact that 
even though someone might be a public figure, right. they're still human. They are. And they're going through the same struggles and challenges that everyone else is. Absolutely. And, you know, it's easy to forget that sometimes when you see these perfect lives playing out on social media. Right. But the truth is that everyone has their own battles to fight mm -hmm. and everyone's journey is unique. Well said. Thank you. So, yeah, this is a story that I think will continue to unfold in the coming months and years. Mm -hmm. But it's definitely one that has us all thinking about the complexities of relationships. Absolutely. The importance of resilience mm -hmm. and the power of grace. Well said. And, you know, as we wrap up this deep dive, mm. I think it's a good opportunity for all of us to reflect on our own lives mm. and how we handle the curveballs that life throws our way. Absolutely, because, you know, life is unpredictable. It is. And we're all going to face challenges and setbacks at some point. Mm -hmm. But it's how we respond to those challenges that really defines us. So true. So as you go about your day today, I encourage you to think about the ways that you can cultivate resilience in your own life. Mm -hmm. And remember that even in the darkest of times, there's always hope. Always. And there's always the possibility for growth and transformation. Well said. So thank you for joining us for this deep dive. It was a pleasure being here. And we'll see you next time. Until then. Bye. Bye.